Hello there and welcome to my channel and today we're going to try something a little bit different. Hello and welcome to my channel and today we're going to answer a very important question. What should you do when you're learning an instrument and you're still not very good at it? Option A. Practice more. Option B. Practice a lot more. Option C. Buy a banjo because it wasn't promotion. And option D. Go practice now. Option C. Final answer. And the correct option is option C buy a banjo because it was in promotion and this is of course because I have a small problem with getting exciting new things in the mail. Now here is the fun part. I know absolutely nothing about banjo other than what it looks like, its characteristic sound, which is out of tune, <laughs> and um, that it seems very hard to play. So before we actually delve into this, we should learn what we're dealing with. First, let's look at what is a banjo. The banjo is a string musical instrument of African origin popularized in the United States by the slaves in the 19th century, then exported to Europe. So I always thought it was uh, an American instrument. That's as soon as I think banjo, I think redneck America. So that goes to show how much I know. And uh, the banjo has a tambourine-like body with a hoop and a screw that secures the vellum belly. No idea what they mean by vellum uh, to the frame. So with a bit more research, uh, I can see that traditional American banjos normally have five strings, uh, but they can have any number uh, of strings, to be honest. And the most defining characteristic is that it has a fifth smaller string that connects halfway through the neck and this string is not fretted, so it's called a drone note. All you're supposed to do is pluck this string. You're not supposed to fret it in any of the frets. Due to this, it's not really a chromatic instrument. In the back, we can normally see a whole panel of wood or one or two metal rods. The head is literally a drum head and it has this uh, little screws which are points to tighten or loosen it literally like a drum another thing that i notice and in some of the videos i've already seen uh, is that people tell you not to use your hands to play don't really know why maybe it's the sound but you need some finger picks because a guitar pick is uh, you know it's going to limitate your movements even though i don't really know where mine is uh, so you need some uh, finger pinks. So I have to go to my local store and see if they have something that can help. One hour later. Unfortunately, they only had uh, what they described to me as ukulele picks. And uh, they are really, really, really tight. So I decided to buy them anyway, just to try and see and to add to my pick collection. Uh, since I don't really have this type but they're really tight and um, we can try them just to see how it is but I also ordered some from Amazon because uh, I'll try to show you in a second there's one particular detail that I don't know if it's gonna make any difference which is on the thumb normally there is a little piece of metal that comes outside here and in this one it doesn't it's literally like the extension of your fingernail I'll give these ones a try, but I'll wait for the ones uh, in Amazon as well. The ones from Amazon have finally arrived, but I also ordered a banjo strap because I always see people playing standing up. And uh, let's see if I can open this. So I got four different, even though I think I only need three. Okay, as you can see the difference with the actual banjo picks the metal part comes out to the side and like they send me one extra i think i don't need this one i think i only need these three fingers but they look pretty cool like some claws 
Before we start playing, one thing we actually need to do is tune our instrument. So I'm gonna quickly try to do that and see if I can speed it up. So right now I believe I can take this little thing off that is still hanging here and uh, going to now that we have done all of the tunings and uh, all of the things that I needed to do to be ready to play, um, Let's look at some banjo tutorials and see if we can uh, play along or do the exercises. So let's see this one. All right, hey, we're out there in banjo land. Mike Henning here. I've got an absolute beginner lesson for you today. We're going to just talk about the basic banjo let's see. chords. So this is important to have. It's very awkward to hold the banjo. But let's put the um, ukulele picks. See if we can. As you can see by his hands, he has the, the guitar picks, he has the banjo picks already. And by the way, this is banjo lesson, free banjo lesson, basic chords, and his name is Mike Heading, maybe? Heading? This is usually one of the first things I start when I have a new student, especially if they're starting from square one. So we're going to start with the, the absolute basics in this lesson. So in with a banjo, we actually get one chord for free. Our, if we just strum open, that's actually a G. You may have heard that the banjo is tuned to open G. Okay. So kind of, we get one free banjo. It's like, coming for example, a guitar or a mandolin, if you strum it open without putting your left hand down, it's not actually a chord. It's, it's not tuned to a chord like a banjo is. And even if you're not starting using picks yet, which I recommend, but if you're, let's say, yes, you you're just playing picks. with your fingertips at this point, try, we're going to initially start by trying to get to use three fingers because we're going to play three finger style banjo Beer, so what i recommend the is playing on the top three strings strings three two and one and see if you can just use each finger for one string so i'm going to use my thumb on the third string my index on the second and my middle on the first and remember it doesn't matter if you're using picks right off the bat so just just, just practice using those three fingers even if you go backwards tuned to open, I can also use a bar chord to play other chords. So I'm just going to use my first finger, and I'm going to go up to the fifth fret, fifth, so right okay. up here to where your, your pencil peg is, and I'm going to put my finger on the top three strings, the same string you're playing, and I'm going to try and do that same Seventh fret, that's another very common one, D. We got G, and the fifth fret is C, and the seventh fret is D. God damn it. And I don't actually, think wherever you like move that this. index finger will be a chord, so you can move that around wherever you want. Those will all be different chords, but G, C, and D are very common uh, chords you'll use in the key of G. So those will be the ones I would start with. Try the this other really guitar exercise, picks. So. Oh, the other banjo picks. Why doesn't this? It's a block. Yeah, it, it just rotates. What the fuck do you keep that thing in place? They have it somewhere here. Oh. Okay, so you need to use your thumb pick literally on the joint, otherwise it will just go around. That's good to know. So let's just see if... Yeah. There we go. This is 
probably easier without this pick spin. <laughs> okay. The other one's both going faster. <laughs> This one, it's it, it's rated. Did I find up already, or is that just me? Yeah, smooth, smooth. Why is that one so rated? All okay. right, hopefully that helps you out. All right, good luck. Okay, you did. Show me something. Uh, one there. I'm back. Okay, uh, he has eleven lesson there. course. I'm back. Let's take a little course then. Man, I sure wish I'd learned to play the banjo. I bought a banjo back in 1948 and just never learned to play it. I mean, 2021. It's time. 2022. Man, if you're gonna play banjo, old -time I'm thinking bluegrass is the way to go, man. Blues and banjo is the best. You're gonna need some finger picks. Unfortunately, I got some. Yeah. I just seriously recommend it. I don't like these ones. This one is cool. Mine is. My, my dude, he has them the other way around. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god, <laughs> I like this a lot. Hopefully, you got all five strings on your banjo. I do, I do, I do. But. You gotta be in tune. Really? For what we're going to learn today, you don't even have to play tune. Yeah. Then I'm going to give you a couple, two. I can see why this was not working. I was using this the other way around. Come on. I want you to get those things down. But okay. Tip. You use this part on the underneath. I almost forgot. Wow. You need a good straight back chair. Good chair right here. Piled up on the couch. Don't yeah. Back yeah. Time. No. No. No couch, man. Chair gang right here. Left. Not on your leg. Again. Not on this leg. That's what I was doing. Right in the middle. That's where okay. You Still weird. You, take, you can take these two fingers and you can touch. Them. Just touch the head. And you want to use my pinky because frankly that's just what feels comfortable to me and so I'm yeah I think one finger that's what you want what you want you can so pinky we're gonna learn a pinch pattern or a basic rhythm and we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna hit the third string now that's okay. the one in the middle third. And then you're going to take your middle finger and your thumb and pinch both at the same time. Top and bottom of the This lesson. So we're going to start That's with some on the third. Okay. Index. Thumb up on the fifth. What? Middle finger on the first string.
Oh, you need to slow down a little bit. Um, so, three. Maybe that's why you... Back next week, I want you to be able to do them both together. So three, three pinch, four, pinch, three, two, five, one, four, two, five. One. Notice that the pinch is there so then here from the future I was just editing this video and realizing how big it actually is and I decided to separate it in multiple parts leave a comment in the comments below saying how easy do you think it is to play banjo subscribe and ring the bell for more content around music leave a like if you like the video stay safe and maybe I'll see you later <laughs>